Hi everyone and welcome back. So recently I was publishing some videos about the full stack interview questions on the hacker rank. Like you get a full stack questions on the Node.js, React, Angular, Vue.js and you have to submit that by solving all the test cases, right? So similarly, let's do some uh, certification test live on the hacker rank. Okay, that this one is particularly for the Node.js basics. I mean, what should be your approach and how should you solve these tests? Okay, I mean, certification test is not something like you are getting certificate and all. You can ignore that. But yes, this is helpful to validate your skill in a particular technology. You can try SQL, you can try Java, you can try Python. All these certification tests are available here. Like I recently tried few REST API, React, JavaScript and all. And then I'm starting this Node.js basics. Okay, so we'll just go through this. I will submit my information and then take test. Okay, so it will... So here I am and it is 60 minutes, two questions, Node.js basics. Let's do this and let's see what kind of uh, setup we need to do. All these things we can understand. Sometimes we need to clone the code locally for uh, making this whole process faster because you have to write the code in the web IDE. So if you are good at uh, VS code, then you can just clone the code and get the code locally and just do this. And here go to the test. So here uh, find recipe step, order processing, these two apps we have and we have like uh, one hour of time. Let's get into this, okay. So what do we have here? Okay, we have to submit it here, web ID is still loading. We can use local ID via get also. So what you need to do is you need to copy the git URL. So click here to copy and you can actually do one thing. You can clone this code and you can start writing there. So let me just clone this and then we will read the the problem statement what it is talking about and then we'll solve it okay let's open that so it is talking about the problem statement is find recipe steps okay so when we are taking this locally this is going to help us so here we have cloned the repository I mean clone that uh, through the github link and now we'll go through the readme and we'll try to understand this. So this is our readme file, we will see the preview. Okay, so let's go, this is a find recipe app. The request we need to create this route I think and that, that is taking id as a parameter and elapsed time as a query parameter. So this is a path parameter, this is a query parameter. And the output should be in the format of this. Okay, so the basic fundamental of these kind of problem statement is you read the readme file properly because if you read, if you are not able to understand it, then read it once. And in the bottom, there is always an example which talks about why the output looks like this. Okay, so if the ID is passed in the URL is missing or not valid, then send 404 not found. Okay. And if the lifetime query parameter is not present, then default should be zero. This is uh, very useful information. And we are going to have this kind of a mock data where ID, name, steps, and the timers, okay? And we need to write a route something like this, steps ID and lapse time. The ID parameter should be used to filter out the result based on the ID, okay? We have this mock data. Based on this ID, we will filter out the data. And if the ID is not found in this mock data, then 400 not found. Okay, if we found, then we need to return the result. Okay, now this index zero is the output. Why that is coming? So first of all, let's take a look on to these two parameters. 
recipe id and elapsed time okay so recipe id is 4 okay we got the record from the mock json and the elapsed time is 11 so elapsed time is 11 so now we will look into these timers timers are like 0000, 0, 0, 0 right and if we look at the elapsed time 11 here elapsed time means we need to return the index from the timer array where this elapsed time is less than okay so the first index is 15 which is greater than the elapsed time that means from the first timer index only you will get the order delivered right so the output will be the index which is 0 okay so now let's write this what we are going to do is in app.js we will add this router recipe router recipe steps recipe router and inside the recipe router we will write our logic so here we are going to write our route so we got the router router.get and we are going to take id as a route parameter and here we have a request and response simple express logic right now what we will do is we are going to get this id which we can get request dot params dot id and we have elapsed time elapsed time that we are getting from the query parameters so how to get the query request dot query dot elapsed time if this is there otherwise assign the zero okay now basic condition is that is already in the test case if this is not a number the id is not a number you are passing something garbage in the id then we will just say response dot status we will say 400 bad request and dot send not found because there is already a test case written for this to validate this okay now we have this mock json somewhere yes based on this id we will get the record let's say if you are passing id 1 then i get all these timers and if the if the elapsed time is 0 means the output should be 0 here let's see another one yeah here elapsed time let's say you are passing 50 so 50 is greater than 15 so the output should be the index 1 i mean whatever the the closest index you are getting okay so if this is the recipe and here we are going to get the selected recipe so this const So selected recipe, now what we can do is we are getting the recipe as a mock, recipe dot filter, uh, we are running a simple filter, uh, in the filter what we will just do is give me the record where id is same as, we can convert this uh, path parameter as a number. So triple equals will not break. So we got the selected recipe. Right. Now if we have selected recipe then we will do some checks because there may be a scenario where you will not get a selected recipe. The ID you are passing 20 which is not there in the record. So in that case we will say response dot status 404 dot send not found and if we got the record now we will get the timers from selected recipe so we got the timers from selected recipe I'm talking about uh, these timers we have in the JSON object so once we got uh, the selected timers what we need to do is we just need to get the index so we can write one method index by passing all the timers and elapsed time 
which we got from the query parameter which can, which will be by default 0 if you are not passing and we can write a simple method function get index and this function is taking two argument right uh, this is just going to iterate on to the timers and will give you which particular index this elapsed time is matching okay we are passing timers we are passing elapsed time and it is going to give you the index this is what we need once we got the index we can just say response dot status we got the 200 status and we are sending index that is the output okay now final thing is we need to make sure all the test cases are passing the edge cases are id is not a number send for a 400 bad request if there is no selected recipe send 404 and now we need to run the test cases because the end goal is to execute all the test cases and here we can see the tests and tests gives you a lot of information you can see here the recipe id is alpha uh, string so it should be not found bad request here it is uh, recipe id is 5 elapsed time is 0 so it should give us the response equal to index 0 here elapsed time is 4 so all these are like happy path scenarios if our apis are responding properly then we should get the response and we got some 500 so let's see that why that is coming up okay here we did a mistake yes recipe is an array and we are trying to consider it as an object so if uh, the array length is greater than one means we got selected recipe then you need to get the zeroth index now it should work and then only we can destructure the timers because currently it's complaining that timers is null okay run the test cases again and this time hopefully they all will pass and we will be done with this basic exercise then we can jump to another exercise for the node.js basic uh, certifications okay things are good okay uh, thanks everyone